I'm recording this video on September 10, 2022. Yesterday, September 9th, someone sent this tweet to me, well, the screenshot to me, from this individual by the name of Michael J. Partyka. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce his last name. I really don't care, especially since you see what you see on your screen. And this is basically his response to black Twitter for the words that people gave towards Queen Elizabeth's passing. He says, Dear Black Twitter, if you can't show a shred of human decency, you don't deserve a shred of reparations. He got 322 retweets, 7,718 quote tweets, and 1,522 likes. Now I'm very sure that that has gone up since then. It is amazing to me <clears throat> that even when it comes to a universal roast, because let's be real here, it wasn't just black Twitter or just black people who was going in on the passing of the queen. It just wasn't. But this individual right here that looks like Doug Funny as an adult made sure to point out black people in particular in this post. And I actually, uh, when I was typing his name into Google to get a picture of him for the thumbnail, or I might pull it up here so y'all can see a better image of him. This tweet right here, as of the time of me recording this, was the last tweet that he put up. Because I'm very sure they went in on him. I'm surprised he still even has a Twitter account and that he didn't close it himself. He had to have known he was going to get swarmed with attacks. And not so much attacks of them, you know, saying things out of pocket in the sense of he people are just coming for him just to come for him but he warranted this swarm because when the queen passed and people started going in granted black twitter li listen if y'all know black twitter for those of you who have twitter y'all know what i'm talking about for those of you who don't black twitter basically becomes trending whenever a collective of black people tweet about something and it connects to black Twitter in the algorithm. So black Twitter is not a sector of Twitter that's just called black Twitter. It just becomes a collective when something like this happens or when it brings the attention of black people on Twitter. I remember one time they tried to do a so-called study on black Twitter. Y'all know what I'm talking about or oh, remember that that was some wild stuff right there. They trying to do a whole study about what black Twitter actually is. It, it's, it was the wildest thing. But back to this guy right here. Black Twitter, while it may have been trending, because it was trending right underneath the passing of the queen. It was like literally the second trending topic in the world. They were, black Twitter wasn't the only ones trending. Or saying something about the queen. Because I saw something up there called Irish Twitter. That was trending. You even had people out of the continent from Africa. They were trending and talking about her too. I guess they'll throw them into black Twitter. And other nations that was going in on her. You could go and look at several videos. But this guy made sure to point out and single out black Twitter in particular and specifically just so he could have a chance to take a dig at reparations because who's been talking about reparations for the last couple of years not the Irish not those on the continent or, or some of them on the continent who come here who want to act or turn into tethers and try to speak against it. Yeah. But for those who's been speaking for it has mainly been the ones who benefit 
to stand to gain from it. And that is foundational black Americans. And this guy thought it was a great chance to take a dig or speak against what we rightfully deserve because we said something against the queen. Luckily for him, we don't care what it is he has to say. And honestly, this would never be a penalty or something against us as to why we shouldn't get it. This would be like the very last thing of reasons of why we shouldn't get it. But he felt the need to come online and say that. I don't know if he was trying to get attention. If he was trying to get attention, he definitely achieved that. But like him, this tweet falls flat. A lot of people out there think that black people should not be receiving anything or be owed anything. Some of them think they have a good argument as to why we shouldn't. But Michael Part Yika, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, I really don't care. If this is as far as it goes for you, you're going to need to try even harder, like extremely hard. Because this this isn't working. That's we're laughing at you. Let me show y'all what he looks like. This is him. Don't he look like Doug funny? If Doug was all grown up, that nose, that nose looks like that. He said, if we, we don't have a shred of human decency, human decency, the nerve of someone of his ilk to say, we don't have a shred of human decency. He has a lot of nerve, as Harvey tends to say a lot in the titles of his videos and within his commentaries to talk about human decency. When it is people of his lineage who has literally spread their indecency on every corner of this earth. I can't even think of five things that black people as a collective have done against his people where we would deserve to get a tongue lashing from him along the lines of us not having human decency. Not one. But because we spoke against the queen and her passing. Now it's an issue. I'll even take it a step further beyond Michael Partika or whatever his name is. This right here is a screenshot from a YouTuber's page. And this actually came across my way uh, via Discord from someone named Yellow Flash 2. It's a person on YouTube. And they fall into that category of constantly wanting to use woke in their video titles. As you can see right there, I included the title so you can see it yourself. It says, Woke lunatics attack Queen Elizabeth hours after her death. Far leftists are sick. But in this article, they highlight many of the people that said something against Queen Elizabeth. And 90% of those people that he highlighted were black in some sort. And when I say black in some sort, they were either FBA or non-FBA. So when they remember, I can tell you, we keep saying when they say that word woke, what they're really saying, what they're really, truly saying. It looks like my video still holds up. It looks like my video still holds up in some form of capacity. Shout out to Nate Blast 90 in the discord for actually finding that particular video, because I wouldn't have known it existed if he didn't um, post it into the discord. And he sent me this screenshot or he sent us this screenshot because he posted it in a public room. 
under, from that same video, this is the thumbnail from that yellow flash twos page when it says this is evil. That's just the thumbnail. But what you saw was a screenshot of one of the things he was talking about, plus the title, because I want to incorporate that in there. But what, look at what one of these comments said from his subscribers. If it weren't for colonization, we wouldn't have many things we enjoy to this day. And those areas would still be shitting in bushes and thinking evil spirits are causing them illness. So unless these anti-colonialism people are going to leave civilization and live in an area without electricity and plumbing, they then they need to STFU. That was just one of the comments. And let me just say that by the time I saw the comment section of this particular video, before I even recorded this video today on September 10th, 2022, his comment section had well over a thousand comments in it. And this one was one of the more recent ones at the time, because you can see it said it was posted 26 minutes ago. And then it says edited. So that lets me know that they added more into this tweet. This tweet, I mean, this tweet, this post probably wasn't as long as it appeared on here. But they added more into it. But keep in mind, this Michael jp i'm gonna leave it like that because i'm trying i'm tired of trying to pronounce his name said that black twitter needs to show a shred of human decency what about what this person wrote right here because i highly doubt that this was a black person that wrote this this yellow flash person doesn't scream me as the type of person that has a huge black audience and if you want to also talk about more shred of inhuman decency or whatever you know what i mean and i think i said it right this is a more recent one. Vanessa Bryant won $16 million verdict in lawsuit over Kobe Bryant's crash photos. If y'all remember when Kobe Bryant and his daughter and those other people lost their lives tragically in that helicopter crash back in two, early 2020, you had the LAPD take pictures of the scene of what happened and then they posted those pictures on the internet. His widow, Vanessa, and mother to their daughter had to fight with them in court because of something they did that would not be considered humanly decent. But this Michael JP wants to talk about we're not showing a shred of human decency. What was decent about spreading around the pictures and the imagery of a dead black man, his daughter, and other people in a fiery, tragic helicopter crash. And as you can see, she won. You know, you would think that the department would have some more happening to them besides them having to pay out $16 million for Vanessa Bryant because that's pennies to her. I mean, Kobe Bryant was her husband, so $16 million is a dent for her. She probably may give it to charity. But we're the, we're the indecent ones, right? Because I'm willing to bet that many in that department didn't look like myself. Because remember, there was also something that came out about that department saying and stating that there were people there in that department who were sending around text messages of how to get rid of black people. And I'm willing to bet many of them would fall into the category of Hispanic, Mexican, or Latino, considering they make up a very huge population inside of that department, as well as people. I'll even go a step further. Do y'all remember how them PC feminists acted the day that Kobe Bryant and his daughter were pronounced dead inside of that helicopter crash? And how they started to come out and pull up about what allegedly happened back in 2005. They were calling him a violator and all types of stuff like that. That was them PC feminists doing that. And it wasn't even hours after it, he was pronounced dead or uh, announced that he that it was a crash and he was a, in, in it. They did that probably within an hour to an hour after it was announced. Those PC feminists. But this. Michael JP guy wants to talk to us about human decency. He can miss me with that. PC. But now we come all the way back full circle back to this tweet.
I showed you this tweet. I gave y'all some little explanation, gave what I thought, and even threw in some other things in there because I didn't expect to go around the world with this. I expected just to focus on him, but I said, you know what? Let me just throw it in here. That way I'm not making multiple videos about the same topic. That way you can pretty much get the gist. But to Michael JP, black people are some of the most decent human beings on the planet by far. If you look at our history and you look at yours, you're not even winning the decent race by even a few miles. And one should ask themselves if these multiple groups, not just black people, Michael JP, AKA grown up, Doug funny have all this vitriol towards this woman. You got to ask yourself why? What would make them feel this way? Simple research into the history of the British royal family and the monarchy will definitely give you the answers that you seek if you decide to research them. Because some or many would say that that lineage didn't, didn't show a shred of human decency to a vast majority of groups around the world. I mean, after all, they have to be mad at something, right? It's not like it's just a one off and it's just a one particular group. It was vast majority groups. But the way that this guy wrote this out, he also made it as a dog whistle target to make it seem like black people were the only ones that was attacking this or going at this this particular event and no one else. When clearly we could see those with two eyes could clearly see in good vision that that was not the case but then again this guy's wearing glasses but i'm not going to give him that kind of an excuse but they, they, that's something they probably will use oh my glasses weren't working i need to go get my prescription filled. maybe i need to get contacts maybe i should use clear eyes same thing with that yellow flash character they decided to mainly go after from what i saw black journalists or those under that category of black journalists or black people with a blue check but again the they use that word woke and you know what I talked about when I said that. And that's just that. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments, like share and subscribe. If you are new, hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video or go live. If the bell for some reason is not working for you, I upload the videos in a premiere style format which means you can click the notify me button on either the bottom left or the bottom right of the thumbnail and you should receive the notification that way. All the links will be down in the description. I will talk to you in the next one.